Hey yo, it's been a while. <laughs> Hello my friends, and welcome back to the channel. Right, okay. I thought I'd make a video because like it's been a while since I made a video and like, you know, I kind of missed it. Like realistically, you missed me as well. Like we can just sort of agree on that. Like come on. Anyway, yeah, um, I thought I'd make a video and I'm gonna make a longer type video because my last three vlogs were very like, you know, fast paced and all that shit and it just wasn't, you don't really, you know, what's going on with my life? Let me tell you, let me tell you. Basically, I wanted to start vlogging and doing my thing because I've been feeling a bit like drained of TikTok. TikTok. I feel like that app is a very, um, very quick, you know, it's very quick. So, you know, you don't really get to like really see what's going on. And also I can't really give you my personality on TikTok. Like, it's a bit like, you know, you see me do like Corvette, Corvette and that's about it. But anyway, so last video that I uploaded, I was living with Harvey. You probably know Harvey from the other videos or if you haven't, we've both living separately now. We've been, uh, you know, like pushed away. Is that the word? No, what's the word? Like separated, separated. We live apart. So basically those kind of vlogs are really good, but like, Obviously, in order to film them, we need to be as a whole group, like, every day. And when we're living apart, it's a lot harder. And also, I'm on my own a lot more. So, you know, these kind of vlogs are a lot more easy for me to film, the one I'm filming right now. But those ones require, like, we need to be on our shit. But, you know, it's hard to be on your shit all the time than not. So, basically, yeah. Anyway, I'm now living um, by myself, sometimes with my family, sometimes with my sister as well. It, they sort of go and come and whatever. So they might be in the vlog, they might not be in the vlog, it's whatever. But that's great for family content, isn't it right guys? Like and subscribe. Well, I just made these more relaxed vlogs where I can talk to you guys, maybe show you some fitness stuff that I do, some lifestyle stuff, some fashion stuff, because I never really get fashion into my videos, and I feel like that's like a big part of me, in a way. So I can show you like what I buy recently and stuff. Why would you come to London? Like actually, it's it's... Two degrees. I'm just gonna bring you guys with me in the gym, out the gym, out wanna go out, food, fashion, holidays, the whole the whole package. I'm gonna give you guys an apartment tour in this vlog, that'll be the main the main bit because like that makes sense. You know, you don't really know where I'm living or what I'm doing or what my life is at. So let me update you and let me tell you about these things because you know, that little brain of yours. It's probably wondering. Anyway, enough chitter chatter. Let's get on with the video. I've never said that in my life. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get on with the video. I'll show you guys around the apartment. And then we're probably going to go to the gym together. Because like, I've never been to the gym with you guys. Like, we, I've never vlogged in the gym. I'm going to have to start getting someone to film me in the gym. But anyway, that's, that's, that's that. Anyway. I'll show you around the place. Okay guys, so now is the next day. I thought I'd wait so we actually have some daylight to show you around. Um, I'm gonna start with the front door. I just wanna say before, obviously I go ahead, um, I'm very grateful for where I'm living. It obviously it's not my my apartment. Um, so yeah, this is no way like a, like a flex, I guess. This is just like, cause you guys were asking for it. So I'm gonna show you around and that's it. This is the front door, obviously, lovely. And then you turn around and bang, welcome. Pickles down here. Uh, I think he wants to go for a walk, so I'll take him out in a second. This is the coat cupboard. Very interesting, I know. Just got a load of random jackets for everyone in the family. Yeah, nothing too interesting here. Got a load of like random trainers on the floor. Really not that fun. Um, we're gonna close that because that's the least interesting room. Gonna start, because obviously you go down here, the corridor. Out there is the living room and the kitchen, but we'll get to that last because that's like the furthest away room. We'll take a right. Pickle, do you want to go through? Yeah? Right, we're gonna go right here because this is like my area, I guess. Laundry room, I know you guys are waiting for this one. Uh, no, it's, I'm not even gonna show you that either because that's really boring. But it's got like the Wi-Fi and the washing machine and stuff. So, that room there, turn around, bang, into my bathroom. Uh, this is my bathroom, this is right next to my bedroom. This isn't an ensuite, it's literally like, I mean it pretty much is realistically actually. It's not actually in my bedroom but it's next door, but also everyone uses this bathroom as like the bathroom of the place. Nice big mirror, nice big mirror, so you know, I can really like check myself out in the morning. And so yeah, like I said, this is my bathroom. It's quite small, but it does the trick, do you know what I mean? Like it's got everything in a really small area, which I like, um, very efficient bathroom. The trim at the moment is very interesting. I know, um, I got a haircut recently. My hair is currently in like a very awkward stage because I'm trying to grow it back. So you gotta bear with me. Um, that is why I'm looking like, like that, <laughs> like it's really not good. That's what I'm doing right now, so we're gonna give you like a daily hair check or something on every vlog, cause like we're crazy like that. Then we move from my bathroom to my bedroom. I need to turn the lights on. Nice little system we got going on. Now this is my bedroom. Um, the beds currently are apart because you'll see later, James, my friend James and Jacob are coming over. My whole family are here right now, so obviously like, these beds need to be separated because you know there's there's there's, there's 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 actually gonna be three of us. So I'm gonna have to make a bed on the floor somehow. This bedroom for three people isn't that big, but you know, it. 
I'm not complaining. It's a very nice bedroom. Probably gonna have to move them even more apart because they're too close for me and James. That might get a bit weird. I had to put these up because um, obviously all the light was coming in. And if you see that up there, I haven't actually got a curtain yet because they're being made for my bedroom, like specifically like cut and everything. So normally there is a big curtain that would also fly across there. But it's cool. No, it's not cool. Anyway, these are kind of like I want to call my main shoes. I'll get into my the wardrobe later. But you know, I've got like Jordans, got some loafers that I got sent from Naked Wolf. Shout out Naked Wolf. Military boots. I wear these every day. I will go into more of my closet maybe in a different video because it's a completely different thing. Just some of my main shoes, I guess. More dressy up shoes apart from those and those. Got a little desk here with some jewelry on, speaker, wallet, all that good stuff. Over here is my PC. I used to play PC so much. I used to play Call of Duty all the time. Still play it now and again. When I say now and again, like pretty much every night, but not as much. Probably one of the most, the best investments that I've ever made myself. I use it all the time. It's good. I don't just game on it. I do a lot of other things on it. Um, It's good. So yeah. And then in here is my sister's room. I'm not going to film too much in here. Like I said, it's her room. I'm not going to invade, but she's got a bathroom as well, similar to mine, and bang, yeah. We're now in the master bedroom. Now, this is obviously my parents' bedroom uh, when, they, when they're here. These things on the floor, those things, they're for the dog because my dog Pickle still isn't very good at going to the toilet outside, so we need to put these on the floor just in case. But also, to be fair, like we do live like top floor, like if he needs a toilet, he needs a toilet, and if we can't, you know, if no one's in, he, uh, he's gonna go on the floor. So we've gotta, we've gotta have these just in case he does. Um, I don't even know if he uses them, but we, we put them down anyway just to try and like catch his poos. That's great. Oh, here we go. That's the right one. And then these will open. The views from this bit are insane. Obviously, if you have a bath like here, it is ridiculous. Wait till we get to the kitchen though, because that is the main view of the house, I guess, if you want to call it. But yeah, then we've got a nice little balcony as well. I don't think they've ever used it, but it's a cool addition. So this is the bathroom, very nice. Nice little marble on the floor and the walls and everything. In fact, one of the only baths that I can fit in because I'm, I'm a tall, lanky kid, so. Four little mirrors, which are really cool. You know, you got everything you need. His and hers, how oh, very cute. We have two doors, this one, is the toilet. Very interesting, I know. I don't know why I needed to show you that, but that's the toilet. And here is a very nice shower. In fact, I probably, I probably use this shower more than my own shower, but just because it's nicer. One thing I forgot to show you, in here, in the master bedroom. The closet. Um, all the wardrobe, walk-in wardrobe, I guess you want to call it. It's 2021, like, what am I doing? So yeah, this is the wardrobe. I mainly use this for all my clothes. Like, obviously, I've got some of my parents' clothes here. One thing I love that I bought recently is this jacket, this long, like, I think they're called Peacoats. I bought it in a vintage shop. It was like 70 pounds. Got all my jackets here and like hoodies. Little St. Laurent Teddy jacket, load of varsity jackets. I know that people love varsity jackets at the moment. I bought this jacket, actually. I think this is a women's jacket. This is really cool. And then a load of hoodies and like knitwear and stuff like that. Shout out to James. He bought me this little cowboy western belt. I wear it a few times and then moving on this section we've got like shirts so I've got like you know like white Ralph Lauren and linen shirt really cool like Italian like menswear looking shirt it's got like blue can you see that a vintage suit that I bought uh, for my birthday actually because we had like a suit birthday thing going on uh, which was fun leather trousers black jeans black cargos under there yeah so uh, more trousers like cargos stuff I don't really wear these too much I might sell them blue jeans I've got another pair of blue jeans in here the helmet langs this like gray pair that I bought which are quite nice t-shirts I've also got my arse Shirt here, obviously, like, I've got to keep that there. Realistically, it just keeps the wardrobe together. Do you know what I'm saying? A few sunglasses. I don't really wear too much sunglasses, and I really want to get into wearing more of them. Um, recent one I bought are these. Bottega pair. Here, I would say these are all my like kind of like beta type shoes. I say that I've been wearing these a lot recently. These are Doc Martens. The yellow stitching around the side of Doc Martens usually. I I sharpied them and I sharpied it black because I didn't really like the yellow. That's the wardrobe for now. Like I said, if you guys want like a proper tour and you want me to show you around like everything and show you pieces specifically and everything, let me know. I can do it briefly in a video, but this is getting quite long. All the bedrooms been done. Living space with everyone. Hello everyone. So we have family members here, so you, you you guys just be my models. We move into the living room. Mother Reagan there, feeding the dog. Oh, not much. Hey, no. Nice little TV not with a nice view. We've got Holly there doing some work as usual. And then kitchen area right here. Coffee machine. Beautiful, we love that. Built into the wall. And then, I mean, the main thing of this whole thing is the view, so it's not that interesting, but okay. Let me go out here. Right. Whew. Like the weather in London right now is really shit, to be honest with you. Like everything is just a bit grey. Move over here, and you've got like London Eye. You can see the shard over there. On my birthday, I came out here when it changed my birthday, and it was quite nice. Um, and also, I can't wait for New Year's as well because I'm gonna vlog from up here when the fireworks go on in London because obviously 
there's normally fireworks I think near the London Eye. I'm very grateful for being for living here. I'm probably here till the end of April next year, 2022. I'm probably going to be looking to buy my own place or rent my own place with James or Jacob and then the vlogs will get funnier because I'll be living with them. Hit the like button and subscribe if you've got to this part of the video and I'll see you guys when I'm with James. All right, James has just arrived so I need to go down and get him because this my place where I live is so confusing to get up to. It's the only bad thing. Like even if I get like a delivery or something, I have to go down. Um, but I should be able to find him, hopefully. James, James. I found a wild James. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Dad. What are you telling me, bro? How's it going? I'm mean, vlogging today. Yeah, um, that military vest, where do you get the inspo from? Uh, Max Wagon Cost Trousers, where do I get the inspo from? Hey! This looks so cool on the camera, look at this. Gee! What we say in London? Where is it? Oh, yo, don't know like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we say in London? We're out here right now, but everyone together. Going to watch um, House of Gucci with everyone. Got high expectations, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully it's gonna be good, but... Quickly, you're gonna miss the film. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Just come out the cinema. I'm gonna give my review out of 10. I would say it was a nice, solid 8.5 out of 10 film. If you're very into fashion, it would be great. But I do recommend watching it for inspiration, and it's a great shot film. I love the film. Out of 10, House of Gucci. Oh, it was like a 7. A 7? No, no, no. Craig. Oh, Craig Revel Hall. Yeah, yeah, Len Goodman. I would give it a. I would give it an 8, actually. I gave it an 8. One thing I did think, it was a little bit long, and it took quite a long time. A bit long. Oh, James. I recommend. I would recommend. You would recommend. Out of 10? Sorry, guys. Solid. Um, oh, man, solid 7.5 out of 10. Okay. We're about to go buy five NFTs tonight, everyone. If you don't know much about them, Welcome to our NFT class. <laughs> no, James got. Oh, James! <laughs> Actually, this is scary because I don't want to drop my camera. Holy! Oh. Oh. Welcome back to the Alien Secret Society. Yeah, that is right. I am actually partnering with Alien Secret Society today. How much, to how much money are you making tonight? All about minting an NFT from zero to completely. For the content. So yeah, sharp. What time is it, boys? 53. Oh. I, I want it like a. Alien time! Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, it does look a bit sus on the camera as well. Why does it look sus? Because it's like dark lighting, two single beds, two boys, macaroons. Okay, everyone, it's now the next day. I'm with James today. James, say hi. Great, brilliant. We're gonna go vintage shopping today. I'm gonna show you guys around some of my favorite spots and also get some food because just we hungry. So yeah, I'll take you guys with me. I need to buy a belt and maybe a beanie today as well. It's quite windy, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me, but um, it's today's plan. Let's go. All right, guys, we are almost at our first spot. It's literally just down the road there. It's called Wow Re Rail Retro, is it called? My favorite vintage spot in London. First thing of the day is a little fit chair. Red vintage jacket, navy trousers, black derby boots. And I need a belt for these because these are quite loose. But anyway, Cole's trousers, Mark Jacobs jacket, vintage sunglasses. Okay. I need to find a belt. Let's go. Okay. Shit. This is what I'm talking about. I need like a oh you feel me? They're quite wide to start with. I think they're like 38 waist, some are 32. Khaki as well, it's not beige. It's nice, but that's nicer. True, 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 true. It's pretty cool. Bargain. I know, right? It's the beauty of vintage shopping. Is that real Gucci? You probably can't hear me, so I'm speaking quite close to the camera. First spot was AW. We popped that blue jacket that I showed in the mirror. Um, we're now heading to our second spot. Might pop into Rocket. If you know Rocket, I'm not really too much of a fan, but it's not bad. Um, this is all in Covent Garden, by the way, so vintage shopping in Covent Garden is not bad. So, yeah, going well so far. Alright guys, I found three beanies here. This one's my favourite. James, hold the camera. No, you look like Michael Phelps. I do, that. I look like I'm about to swim the 400 meter crawl. Let's try these two on, realistically. This is the perfect song to put you sunglasses on. These are actually not bad. Yeah, yeah. Basically done all the best shops, vintage shopping in Covent Garden. Now we're heading to Dover Street Market, which is near Piccadilly Circus, which I your car mode. So yeah, I mean, it was all right. I got a belt and a, and a, a track top. Track um, top. But now we're looking for something a bit more, you know, 
proper. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the content. Like and subscribe for more shopping content. So everyone, the issue that we have today is we want to eat relatively healthy today, but we have no idea where it's healthy to eat in London. Meat fresh. Donuts. Oh my God, a pigeon. That's nice. I like the. Uh, price, 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 they look like it fits nice as well. Long sleeves. Four thirty. Four hundred thirty. Go down. A bit. That's a bit of me. Yeah, that isn't rubbish. That is a bit of me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have anything from Noah, but I do quite like it. I don't know. They're really light though. How much are these? All right, everyone. Just finished in Dover Street Market. My hair's gone crazy. Gonna get some food now because. I'm all shocked out, I spent more money. I spent like 12 pounds today, but we don't talk about that. We're gonna go to Oaxaca. If you don't know what Oaxaca is, what is Oaxaca? It's a Mexican street food. Mexican? Mexican, mate. Mexican street food. Bit of veg, bit of meat, bit of rice, bit of sweet potato. So, quite cheap as well. Gonna take a fit pick on the way as well for the gram, so, you know. Really cool building. We can show the view as the building. Nice building here. What is that, the London? The, the London, I think it's a hotel. That's fine. It is cool. Well. Alright guys, we're in uh, we're in Oaxaca right now. Never been before, it's like Mexican food. No idea what to expect, but it looks quite good, so I'll show you the food when it arrives. What have you got here? Talk me through. This is the uh, sustainable battered fish taco. Sustainable? That's what it says on the menu. Mm. Oh, 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 fire. <laughs> And then here we have the chorizo and black bean little scoopy scoopy. All right, guys, the mains have arrived. This is a veggie bowl. No, yeah. rainbow bowl, I think it's called. But, but we added the steak. steak to it because it's meant to be vegan. But you know, I need the meat. But anyway, we've got like a mix of like sweet potato, steak, vegetables, rice, all that good stuff. Pretty much all the same thing. But um, yeah, we're gonna get stuck in. That's proper, is it? Proper ding dang do, defo scranit. Defo scranit. All right, what's up, guys? We're in Nike right now. James is about to try on some new trainers, but he's wearing he's wearing Adidas. 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 In that, in that in, 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 in Nike, so you know it's a bit of a bit of a clash. 2021. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, these are fucking tiny, bro. What? That's, that's a getting, nine. That's not getting on my foot, is it? No. You're gonna need to size up. They quite a lot because they're, they're supposed to be stretchy, but like they are cool though. They can't be a nine, bro. They are. They're, they're so hard. cool. Don't rip, don't, don't. Oh my oh. god, nah, they're like a glove, bro. They're, do they fit fine? Holy shit. So comfortable. They look good with those trousers as well. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna buy them. You're gonna buy them? <laughs> oh my god. This Ready for more, ready for more. Yeah, Thank you very you. much. Oh, Toyota Priuses actually make me feel sick. No, 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 that's not funny. As much as I love Uber, Priuses are actually disgusting. I'm not trying to sound like a, like a prick. Priuses, I just feel ill. Like, I just feel so, oh. You know what it is with Priuses? It's because the, it's because the, the heating is always on so high in Ubers in London. They don't make any noise, so it's just like you're, you're stopping and starting in this glowing mobile. Yeah, and they, you can't feel the road, yeah, so you're just like, you're just moving. Yeah, shit. That's that, but it's just, just come to the end of our day now. Okay, guys, James has left. It's the end of the day now. I'm going to finish the vlog here. It's been quite a long one, which is a good thing. I want to get these vlogs a bit longer. Anyway, I'm going to keep this bit short. If you did make it this far, thank you so much. It means a lot to me because you know you're watching the whole video, which is you know quite impressive. But yeah, let me know what you think of these type of videos in the in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate that. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.